What's going on guys? My name is Eric and welcome to First Thing in the Morning. Now, as some of you may or may not know, I am in a relationship and I often get questions asking me, how do I maintain it? How do I make sure that it's a successful relationship? How are both parties equally as happy in the relationship? So since I got all these questions, I thought I'd answer a few today and help you guys out. So without further ado, hey! Oh, fuck. Really? This guy? This is the guy y'all are gonna listen to? That's absolutely crazy. I bet he hasn't even seen a pair of tits in over a decade. Guys, everybody knows if you want the best relationship advice on the entire internet, you come right over to Broski's Love Shack. So without further ado, let's watch the show my ex-girlfriends watched to see where they went wrong and help save you from perpetual masturbation. How do you keep getting in here? Okay, I finally got the nerd out of here and not a moment too soon because today I have a lot on my plate. I have 50 questions from women about men that I'm going to answer. That's right, all 50 two-part Broski's Love Shack extravaganza. All right, ladies, strap yourselves in and get ready to take some notes. Here we go. Did you really think those Super Bowl ads were funny? No, but if it was between watching the Super Bowl and watching another fucking romantic comedy with you, I'll take the Super Bowl every single time. Why do you take so long pooping? That's simple. We're in there, we're not just pooping. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're answering emails, we're banking, we're doing whatever it is we can possibly think of to extend the amount of time that we're away from you. Why do you cup your balls so much? That's our subtle way of letting you know we're ready for some action and it better be soon or else we're gonna take a long, long break in the bathroom with Pornhub. Bar of soap or body wash, that's simple. Body wash, 110%. Maybe with an exfoliating glove, you put that on there, you rub it all over your body, and when you're done, you're all smooth, you feel great, you feel clean. I mean motor oil. Why ask for my number if you're not actually going to call? Because they turned the lights in the bar on and I realized I made a big, big mistake. Why the mindset that being in a long-term relationship means the end of fun? Because you ask us to do a bunch of shit we just really don't want to do in the first place. Why are you convinced that sex is so much more important for men than it is for women? Because no man on the face of the earth has ever said, I have a headache. I don't feel like it tonight. Well, unless he's cheating on you. Do you ever fake orgasms? Of course not! I'm a guy! That's the whole point! Faking orgasms is strictly a female behavior. And you know what? I don't blame you, ladies. Most guys are fucking terrible, and they don't know what's going on down there. If you want to deal with a man of experience, hit me up. 514-577. Is there such a thing as too slutty? Nope! What percentage of your female friends do you want to sleep with? 100! Why do you think we're friends? Have you cheated? How often? It's only cheating if you get caught. Why do you always seem to be drawn to women who are dramatic? Because dramatic women are crazy women, and crazy women will do anything! <sighs> Hypothetically speaking, do you remember what I was wearing when we first met? No, dumbass, and neither do you! How often do you look at porn when your girlfriend isn't home? Literally the second the front door closes and we know that you're gone! What is going through your head when we're annoyed with you? I wonder how long she can go on yelling without taking a break. Probably for a while. Oh man, Final Fantasy XV's gonna be awesome. I wonder what my ex-girlfriend's doing tonight. Do you actually notice when it's laundry day and we're wearing old slash unattractive panties or do they all just kind of look the same to you? All we know is it's one more layer to get through to get to the good stuff. So yeah, no, we don't care. Seriously, isn't watching six hours of football straight a little bit much? 
Actually, yeah, six minutes of fucking football is too much if you ask me. Especially if you got a lady around you who's even remotely interested in your lame ass. Wake the fuck up, boys! Why do you continue to eat spicy food if it just makes you feel sick? For the same reason why we put up with women. Because everything in life that's awesome comes at a price. What makes you think we'll go see movies with guns, bombs, and explosions with you if you won't check out rom-coms with us? That's very simple. When we go see an action movie, we don't expect you to swing out of the movie theater while detonating a bomb and shooting a bunch of motherfuckers with guns. But if we go see a romantic comedy with you, you guys expect us to be fucking Romeo with a team of writers to make sure we always say the right thing. And if we don't, we're assholes. If your mother started an argument with me, whose side would you be on? <laughs> I plead the fifth. I'm on nobody's side because I got a functioning brain. No, I mean, really, do you think I'm going to insert myself into an argument between my mother and my girlfriend? Are you absolutely out of your fucking mind? I'm never going to do that because that's a trap. And no matter what I do, I'm fucked either way. What do you have against special face cleansers? Nothing. They're awesome. How do you think I look so handsome all the time? I mean... Motor oil! What does it feel like to fall in love? I'm gonna let one of my friends handle this. It's a trap! What are you really thinking during sex? Don't come yet, 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 shit! What is the one thing in bed you wish women did that they never do? Leave immediately after it's over. <laughs> and finally, our last question of the day. What do dudes talk about when women aren't around? Other women we'd like to bang who aren't you. So there you have it, guys. 25 questions to help women understand men a little bit better. Don't worry. I'll be back tomorrow with 25 more that'll give you an even deeper insight into the male psyche. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to join the Broski Club, hit that subscribe button. Go follow me on Twitter at MTL Broski and check out my Pro Wrestling Tees store at ProWrestlingTees.com slash F-T-I-T-M. Now, if you'll excuse me as one of my favorite songs from the 90s used to say, Closing time, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Go away! I know.